Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com and in today's quick video I want to show you how I would remove this carpet. So it's really simple, we've already removed the baseboards, you can see our video on removing how to remove baseboards. Uh, we've kind of got all the furniture out of the way and we're ready to pull up this carpet. What I would like to do is cut the carpet into more manageable pieces if you're not you know, reusing it somewhere or something like that. Just makes it easier for hauling out of the house, especially if you're working by yourself. I'm going to cut this one super small just for demonstration purposes, but uh, basically just take a sharp knife and uh, decide where you're going to cut. It's pretty basic, just cut, cut however you want to cut. We'll call that one good enough and we'll head over to the wall over there. The main reason is that this stuff gets really heavy and really awkward. So if you're trying to drag it out of the house or trying to go around a corner or anything like that, it gets pretty difficult if this is, you know, 10 or 12 feet long. And especially if, like, if I rolled out, this whole room's 20 feet long. If I rolled that all up, it's going to take a couple, a couple guys just to get it out of the house for sure with a little struggle. So just, uh, you want to pull the carpet back. There'll be a tack strip around the outside edge. Pull it back, get it kind of started uh, into some kind of roll, and start rolling. Now when you're working against the wall like this, you want to just be careful. This carpet's actually pretty soft, but some carpets have a real hard jute back on them. And as it rolls along that wall, it might scuff the wall up. If that's the case, just kind of grab your piece and move it away from the wall and roll it up. So now you've got a manageable piece that one person can carry out on their own. Okay, now uh, most cases you're going to find that you've got an under pad as well and uh, it's going to be held down. It may be glued in the perimeter or in a few spots, but for the most part it's going to be held down with a bunch of staples. So if it's just stapled, like this is, it's really easy. It just pulls off those staples. And I probably recommend wearing shoes, which I'm not because now we've got all these staples exposed on the floor. But same thing, just roll it up. Now, you may have cut it where you cut your carpet, or it may be a seam or whatever. In this case, it's just kind of tearing off there where I am, but. Okay, so now both of those items are small and easy for anybody to handle to get out of the house. And even if you've got a bin or something, it's just easier to put in the bin or the back of your truck or whatever to haul away. So, so once you've kind of got your under pad all off, all that's left to do is you're going to have, well, I won't go too far away here, but you're going to have uh, all these staples. You can see there, and uh, it's nice if you can pull those out right away too. And usually just a pair of pliers, you can get a hold of them and pull them right out of the floor. Okay. Generally, it'll just be the perimeter and the edges, but you might have the odd one out here in the middle. It doesn't look like this one does. So. So pretty simple DIY thing to do. If you're having new flooring put in, this might be something you can uh, tackle on your own to save a little bit of money and uh, have it ready for the floor layers when they get here. So thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully uh, you like this quick video. Click the thumbs up if you did, we'd appreciate that. And you can subscribe to our channel below there as well. You can check us out on Facebook, uh, look at Patreon. Maybe you wanna help uh, support us a little bit that way and create more of these great videos. Thanks for watching.